Oh, 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 oh my gosh, okay. Ten minutes prior to opening, 9.50 in the morning. No problem, but let me tell you, that feeling is you kind of like, the crunch as you run in, oh my gosh. A lot of anticipation, and if you look around me, it's just everyone's on their phone. Oh my goodness, good stuff. Now, even though there are a lot of people here, and there's this uh, this feeling of anticipation as everyone's gonna get ready to board the, get those boarding passes in about nine minutes here, it's still, it's still fun. It's, it's fascinating how I feel that way. I am gonna stand in this massive Starbucks line here, but you know, I was thinking to myself, does it take away the boarding groups? It really doesn't, and I don't know why. You know, I think the reason is that it doesn't feel like competition, right? It just feels like everybody's here to share in the magic. If it was like competition, like, oh my gosh, like we gotta, you know, we gotta beat other people to get the boarding group, then it wouldn't be as magical. But that's not how it feels, at least not to me. Just tested the Wi-Fi versus my LTE. Wi-Fi is much stronger right next to this Starbucks right here, as far as I can tell. So we're testing it, but I'm gonna be using the Wi-Fi for a boarding group in four minutes. Literally every person that is passing me has their uh, phone out looking at it, just watching the time as we're doing. There's that final announcement, minute and 30 seconds left. The Wi-Fi keeps kicking me off. I keep getting pushed back to LTE. I'm not sure why, but I'm just gonna kind of let it do that. It's back on Wi-Fi again. It's like back and forth and back and forth. Less than a minute to go. We're just gonna try our best. 30 seconds to go, get ready for this. I almost feel the anticipation in my stomach. So we're trying to do this again. How many times have we done it? Boarding group 43. There are definitely some who are much, much faster today. But 43 is still a great number. Listen to those, uh, some cheers right there. Goes to show the connection's a little bit difficult right here, right in front of the Starbucks. I recommend right by Indiana Jones. That's where we were that last time. Works super well. 43 is not bad though, it isn't. Estimated return, it says 195 minutes. Nice that it gives you kind of a, an estimate now. Amazing to think 42 other groups were filled in less than 10 seconds. I mean, that goes to show literally thousands of people were looking for that moment. In my opinion, the perfect amount of pumpkin pumps in the venti iced chai latte is six. I tried four, I tried five, I tried seven. I like six pumps of pumpkin. Full of sugar, I know, I know, but delicious. They're now on groups one through 11. They say 165 minute wait, which is gonna be perfect because in just a few minutes, we've got reservations at Mama Melrose. I have not been to Mama Melrose in so long. So, so long. I'm so looking forward to trying it again. You know what I haven't done recently? I haven't brought a popcorn bucket to the park to refill on popcorn. I have to do that. Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, really long line already. Great to see the ABC Commissary open once again. We're going to Mama Melrose, which is in that direction, but we'll definitely try it in the future. As I'm walking towards Mama Melrose, I'm not that hungry, but I did take a look at their menu in advance, and they've got some calamari. I'm gonna ask the server if, you know, if it's like the best calamari, because you know I love calamari. I'm always searching for the best I can find. Now the other day we were talking about new lands at the Magic Kingdom and around all Walt Disney World, new lands, new parks. A land that I would personally would love to see, no rumors, no even uh, subtle rumors about this one, would be a Muppets land. We've got a Muppets in Hollywood Studios, we do. It used to be called Muppet Courtyard. And we've got Muppet Vision 3D, we've got the store right here. I say we expand it. I'm, I'm all about the Muppets. I feel like we can do a lot more with the Muppets and whole Muppet land where it's just like, it's fun, there are practical jokes, not you know, just fun ones, fun ones for the whole family. I, I just feel like that would be something I'd love to see. I, I, I don't think it's gonna happen though, that's the thing. I, I think that Muppets, it's it's popular with, with some, absolutely, but I think Star Wars has more popularity. That's me, but uh, definitely would love to see it. If we can't get a land, I totally would be okay with just the return of the Muppet Mobile Lab. I loved Muppet Mobile Lab. It was an Epcot, it was fantastic. Beaker and uh, Dr. Benson Honeydew were kind of on this machine and their cool effects would happen. They'd inter interact with guests. It was so, so cool. I miss it. Michael Kay? Yes. Thank you so much. Dine with us before? When I was about six years old. Yes, it's, it's so. very good. The Palmer is very good. Is it real? Here inside Mama Melrose, I had forgotten how nice this restaurant looks. Look around, it really is incredible. I like the lights up above. It had a great Italian feel to it. I had completely, completely forgotten what it looks like. Because I haven't been in this restaurant since maybe I was six, seven years old. My mom will have to confirm that. But I was very young last time I was here. And last time I was here, remember the food was not my favorite. I recall that. Well, no, I don't recall that. My mom helped me recall that, but you get the idea. Today we're 
trying an appetizer item that I've heard is amazing, the calamari. I was told by the server as well and the hostess that it was really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. The margarita flatbread I was also told is amazing. So two items that we'll, uh, we'll try. Well, we're gonna try the calamari first, see what I think. They got some bread with it and then uh, I'll let you know. Starting off with the bread, it is super, super hot. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> It's super hot. It's cool enough to eat though. Almost too hot to touch. The bread is standard, just white bread there. Good, but standard. You also have the oil to dip in it, which really does enhance it, but standard bread, not bad, not bad at all. Ready for that calamari? It smells, man. Oh, you brought both, oh, thank you so much. That service was incredibly fast, less than two minutes, and we've got our calamari. Take a look at it. It has that very interesting kind of uh, pickles on the side. It also has that garlic aioli. That's what Anthony, my server, told me it was called. We've also, he also brought me the very, very kind of him. The, uh, the standard uh, red sauce, I believe, that that's marinara sauce, not 100% sure about that, but we've got it with the calamari. Super excited, not gonna put any lemon on it, just gonna try it plain. Buy it some for that first bite, you ready? Bon appetit. I gotta tell you right off the bat, I think that's the best calamari I've ever had. It, oh my goodness, it just beat Spice Road Table here at Walt Disney World. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, okay. I believe that this is the best calamari I've ever had. I had, one, I had one bite, I had one piece of it, I had one piece, cooked to perfection. The outside has a great crunch to it. It also has this, um, I'm not sure what it's coated with. I gotta look at the menu again. Little little green, I I'm, I'm think that's um, maybe so, a little, not basil, it's something else. I'm gonna look at the menu, but one bite without dipping in anything yet is incredible. I might need a second order. This is, I, I'm telling you, this is the best calamari I've ever had. The garlic aioli in itself is amazing. I'm not sure it really goes with the calamari in my opinion. It doesn't need anything. The calamari does not need a thing to be the best I've ever had. Not just at Disney, this is the best calamari I've ever had ever. The pickles on the side with the calamari, it all goes so well together. This is, this is unbelievable. This is amazing. Mama Melrose, right now, one dish, one appetizer dish, worth going out of your way for. I would come out of my way for this one. At this point, I am too full to have a standard entree, but I do want to try one of the desserts here. It's inspired me, this amazing, amazing calamari has inspired me to try a dessert. I asked my server, it recommended uh, the cannoli, apparently incredible, but also the chocolate and cherry tort. Apparently, nothing, you can't get that anywhere else. He said, can't get it anywhere else. It's made with Giardelli, a creamy chocolate infused with cherries. I mean, it sounds amazing. It's a small little thing, but I, I'm really looking forward to trying that. You can't get it anywhere else, and they make it in-house. We're, we're trying that. They're now on boarding groups 13 to 24, so this is gonna, this timing is just perfect. We're group 43. Here it is, the cherry chocolate tort. It looks absolutely incredible. A very, very interesting look to it. It's got cherries right there whip, whip, with whipped cream. It's like a chocolate stick on the side as well. Kind of a cherry with cherry sauce going around the outside there. It looks amazing, can't wait to dig in. Chocolate, cherry, and whipped cream all in one. Bon appetit. Let me tell you right now, Mama Melrose, really, really impressing me. Delicious flavor. It's it's a whipped chocolate, so you can, uh, you can really taste almost like a, a creamed chocolate right there. Not as much of a cherry flavor as I was expecting. I'm kind of gonna, gonna put it more in the cherry sauce on the side there. Try it again, but that is so good. Less cherry than chocolate, but the chocolate is so good. It's so, so good. I can see myself getting this dessert again. More about the chocolate than the cherry with this one, but the chocolate, that whipped chocolate in there is delicious. Now, that being said, I can see myself trying a different dessert. Still love it, would get it again in a heartbeat, but I do wanna try other things. The calamari is an item that is so good, I would have a hard time not getting it when I come here. You see the difference there, where it's like, this is really good, love it, calamari is like, it's almost life-changing calamari there. <laughs> This is so impressive. Delicious. Mama Melrose, super impressed. After several more bites here, I can tell you this, it's like a chocolate mousse. It's really, really good. What I would do is I'd ask for more cherries on the side, if it's available. I'm not sure if that's something you can do. I didn't ask anyone, but if you can ask for like a little bit extra cherry sauce, a little bit extra cherries on the side, it would make this even better. I still do like it. I want to try other desserts, but extra cherries if you get this. And this is the only place you can get it on property. Good to know. Overall, Mama Melrose, big thumbs up there. We'll be back. Now, if you're looking for the latest and greatest things, it's super important to pay close attention the Disney Parks blogs and all those posts that they do all over just you know Twitter or Instagram they do it all over and I learned recently that Mira the Royal Detective from Disney Junior is actually going to be debuting very short limited time here at Hollywood Studios I'm looking forward to seeing her. We're gonna wait until she comes out. While we're waiting for Mira, Royal Detective, we're gonna take a look at some of the new Magic Bands they have, or at least Magic Bands that I haven't seen recently. I love that Phineas and Ferb one. Dooby dooby doo ah, see, uh, you can see Perry up there. That's a great one. And then you've actually got, look at this one. I think my mom would love that one. See Jack Jack and Edamote and then Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. A lot of great ones that I haven't seen recently. You got the Jungle Cruise to the left there. Remy, perfect for his new attraction. Woody, you got her arm with the, the bandage on it because she, she put that back for the new movie. There's Mulan and uh, some of the characters from 
Onward. There's the one for Mickey and Minnie's one-way railway right there, limited release, and you got the one right next to it, which is uh, kind of that pink mini style of that paint splatter with Mickey's on it. See that one over there, and then you got limited release pass holder exclusive ones. These are the 2020 ones. You can see some of your favorite characters. And to the left, we've got this uh, Walt Disney World 1971. Something's happening. The music has just changed. I think it's time for Mira. This is the Pixar music. Now that I think about it, so I don't know if Mira's gonna be up here. Hey, good to see you, Brian. Not sure if Mira's gonna be here yet, but we'll catch her. No doubt. I just love these cavalcades. There's our Pixar friends taking a look down the line there. I don't see Mira just yet. Don't worry, we'll catch her later. Hey, last girl. All right. Oh, you turn. Oh, see, look. Edna Moon had to tell them to turn the car. <laughs> that was great. Oh, good to see you. Sounding good. Yeah. Hey there, looking great. To infinity and beyond. Oh yeah. It's a surprise. We don't know when Mira will be coming out, but this was Pixar, always fun. We're, we're gonna wait for Mira. We'll find her. Don't worry, we will. I was just sitting and relaxing right there on that bench. It's a super nice one to sit back and see this uh, globe spinning up above. But I kept looking over here and I saw this sign where it says Boston 2,532 miles away, Tokyo 5,626 miles away. Then you see Orlando where it says 2,158 miles away. I, I don't understand. And then I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Sure enough, think about it if this was in California. If this was in California, then Chicago would be 1,153 miles away and Orlando would be further. So I think this sign was like originally or probably still is or close to somewhere in California. And that would make a lot of sense to me. If it's in Hollywood, it would make sense. You know, Orlando's 2,158 miles from, from Hollywood. So cool. It's almost time for Mira's big reveal. You can see the cast members getting ready to share in it with us. She's going to be with other Disney Junior friends. And apparently there are some dancers with her. Let's see it. Music starting. Here we go. There she is, right over there. Fancy Nancy, right up front. Hey, Nancy. Good to see you. There's Doc McStuffins. I love this car. It's like Buzz Lightyear. It's so well themed. Love the bandage over the uh, tire there. There's Vampirina. Here's Mira's new section with the dancers. Hey there, how are you? Gotta love the dancers right up front. This is fantastic. Hey there. There she is, Mira the detective. There she is. Hi, Mira. Good to see you. Loving this car right here. Almost looks like a, almost like a magic carpet in a way to me, but it's Disney Junior and it's Mira. Detective Mira. There she goes, Detective Mira in her great car. That's awesome. Brand new addition to the Disney Junior cavalcade. She's also got those dancers right in front of her. We're gonna loop around and see those dancers one more time because it's really, really cool to see that new addition to the cavalcades. It does make the cavalcade longer, which I think is a great thing. We made it all the way around. We're in front of the cavalcade right now. Great to see the debut of Mira here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, part of Disney Junior, only one weekend. I have a feeling she'll be back though. I feel like uh, that was a really good test. They're probably gonna test a little bit more. We'll see, you never know, never know, but it was great to see. They're on group 31 right now. So we've got another 65 minutes before our Rise of Resistance boarding group is ready. Until then, let's see, 65 minutes. Yeah, well, that's uh, probably an attraction. Gonna go try and beat my score at Toy Story Midway Mania, but I was just looking at this. You know, Munisterberg has been closed for a little while. It does make sense for it to be closed because uh, the Edna meet and greet is in there along with some food items and the show, the little mini show that you can find at the end of the street. So for it to be closed does make sense now. However, I'm uh, I'm not sure if it will stay closed for long because the crowds are definitely increasing in Walt Disney World. So I'd imagine they probably want to space people out a little bit more. I would think and hope the Municipal will open soon. The app said 10 minutes, now it says 30 minutes. We're still gonna wait. Total wait time, just about 15 minutes. Yay. Best today, 338,100. Best this month, 552,000. Okay, well, we'll try and do the best we can. Best ever, best ever, best ever. <laughs> 341,900. That's really good. We're getting better all the time. Oh my gosh, best today. 341,900. Yes! See, what did I tell you? Practice makes perfect. 341,900. I think it's my best. I may have gotten like 350 before. I don't remember. But uh, 
That's really good. Best today. Eventually, we got best this month. Practice makes perfect. Now, I've been hearing a lot about this walk-up list availability at some of the uh, different spots around Walt Disney World. I haven't tried it yet, and I really do want to try it. I looked at Bogus Cantina as we were walking over here. It said walk-up list full. But I want to ask the cast member, see what that, uh, what that means. Maybe more will open up later. Very kind cast member just walked me through how to uh, join that uh, walk-up list for Ogus Cantina. It is full <laughs> due to high demand. But we'll try it again another day. It looks relatively easy to use. The rain is coming down now, and we've got about 25 minutes until our boarding group is called. So, so we'll wait it out. It's already slowing down, but quick rains in Florida. You know how it is. You know, it's been a while since we've tried blue milk, and since we can't get into Ogus Cantina right now, I'm thinking about trying it just before we get on to rise. It's been a while. We are trying the blue milk again till the spire. Definitely is better than I remember. I remember it being not as good. I do like it. I think they've added sweetness to it, like a cotton candy style sweetness. I remember it being good and then I didn't love it and trying it again I, I really do like it. Now I'm not saying it's a Dole Whip or a Night Blossom. That's, that's not what we're talking about here but it is good. It is good. Group 43 has now been called. Let's do it. Now I know that the uh, the building of new attractions, new lands, those kind of things may be delayed for a little while. Totally get it. Does make sense. You know it's been a really rough year but the big question is when they do, when they do, will the technology have moved Again, like this, this to me is an evolution in technology. I'm wondering, will it have moved again to the next attraction, whatever it is, makes this one almost feel old. I, you know, that's going to be tough because this one feels incredible. But maybe. We I suddenly got goosebumps. It's been a little while since we've been on board together. Love that feeling. Got to take advantage of all the views. We're spaced out because of this right now. Makes a lot of sense. But if you have the back seat here, you got a great view. Now, having this back view is really cool because what you'll see is you actually see the stormtroopers run by and get into position before we step out there. Uh, as we land here, look, they're going that way. We're about to go out this door and actually see them out there. I love the continuity. You know what I'd love is an extra magic time where we can come and just explore this room. We always go through too fast. I love that room. I wonder if Disney would do anything like that, like a, an extra like Star Wars magic event where you can just like explore. A little bit more, just rise of and over and over again. And you bring such technology onto our ship thinking you can gather information. Yeah, I can't transmit it, so you know, it's, it's just it's useless without my transmitter. You guys it confiscated that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing a joke? Well, that's so funny. No, sir. <laughs> But ultimately hopeless. The location of the secret base. Oh! That was so much fun. Never, ever, ever gets old. Never. One of the things that I have not had a chance to do is be an extra in Indiana Jones. It's something that I truly, truly want to experience one day. I'm looking forward to the show being open again. It's just, it's a show that I love. I feel like it's such a, an iconic show here at Hollywood Studios, and I'm really hoping that we have the opportunity to be an extra one day. One day. Such a fun day today. Thanks so much for being a part of the Magic City today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.